Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers. And, uh, looks like we won the die roll. Looks like we have a very keepable hand. I like it, I like it. Okay. Uh, I apologize if the audio is a little bit weird. I've got the music playing in the background sticks instead of, like, through the computer itself getting recorded. So it might be a little bit off. Hopefully it's not too bad, but my headset died. That's why it's not correct. So I'm charging my headset. But let's get into this thing with some slivers. Let's go. Let me play. Let me play. What are you doing, Overhead? Start out with plated and start dropping some lords. Let's see what we're up against here. Ah, sandstone mine. Okay. So, is this the dredge combo? Whatever it's called. Some kind of combo going here. I forget. Uh, we played this one before. Delve. Delve combo. I believe that's what plays uh, these needles and these certain combo lands. These counter lands. Weird counter lands. Let's we'll keep playing Lords. I think we'll be alright. It takes them a long time to get going. At least like four turns. Um, maybe three. They're doing stuff though. They're trying to do stuff. Cathartic. Oh, okay. We're just playing Reanimator. Alright, cool. Reanimator. They got their Ulamog Crusher in there. They have a Shred Memory they dumped. Okay. Well, we can journey that. Uh, which will be excellent. It'll be no big deal. So we'll just keep swinging in. And even if they get them out next turn, no big deal. No big deal. We'll have to take out two of our. We'll take out two of our lands. Forest journey swinging for the win. Well, not quite the win, but we'll be we'll be pretty dang close to the win, and we'll completely throw them offline. So we'll be fine. Bring this microphone up a little bit here. Make sure you guys can hear me over the music. I tested it out. It seemed to work all right with the music plan. I feel like I have to talk louder to talk over the music, but then I listen to the audio of the recording and it seems fine. Yeah, so they're all in right now. They're all in. So we just take out two of our lands here and we'll be golden. Golden crispy. They'll have no mana. They'll have no nothing. You know, you learn from your past mistakes and that's what happened last time in the in the past. Uh, we had this a similar setup where we had like lethal next turn and they dropped the Ulamog and I took out my creatures instead of my lands and I could have just wrecked them with my creatures afterwards so very interesting but it looks like they're not comboing off this turn so they're just gonna die so we're worrying for nothing because we're just swinging in for 20 damage so we'll just wait for that concede we'll go to the next game all right so journey fine by me uh, 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 Relic. Anything else? Natural states. I don't think we need that. Benevolent. I think we can take out Benevolent. Definitely Enduring can go. And, yeah, I like it. Let's, uh, let's run it. Let's run it back. Reanimator deck. I have this one in paper. I find it to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've never considered using the counter lands to uh, play with. It. I don't know how well that works. I mean, it gets you going on your mana for sure. So you could possibly get that turn two, turn three play, uh, which is pretty dope. But it's a fun deck. It's like the only like cool little combo deck I like. It's just a simple popper reanimator combo deck it's pretty fun especially if they got dragon's breath you put haste on that creature oh yeah oh yeah let's see what they can do here i think we're fairly favored in this i think i'm gonna keep this we don't have any red uh red wow see i'm going into their deck here uh we don't have any green sources which is unfortunate we do have the journey and the sinew though we just need to get one forest. I don't really want to send this back. 
So I'm going to keep. Hopefully that's not a mistake. We're on the draw. So hopefully that helps us out. Okay, we got a turn one play too. That is excellent. So we've got some power out. We're just going to let them do their thing. Just pass through our turn here. Pass through their turn. Faithless looting. This is like the only format this isn't banned in. <laughs> like super OP card in all the other formats, but for some reason it's still in Popper. I think it's fine in Popper, honestly. I've never had too much of a problem with Faithless looting. I, I've i seen the problems. It, it, was, uh, it was a problem in Modern. It was a very bad problem in Modern. Uh, Putrid Imp. It's a plus one, plus one, and can't block if there's seven more cards in your graveyard. Okay, bro. Oh, we got our land. How nice. How nice. Okay. Wow. This ain't stinkweed ip, so we don't have to worry about death touch. It's like double checking it to make sure, but it's just a little imp. Um, they might have, like, really set, switched up their deck. They might have really went for a different type of setup from their sideboard. Yeah, look at that. They brought in different creatures. They have a sandworm. They have this imp. So, it looks like their second game plan will be their main combo, but their first game plan will just be probably to just get more pressure on the battlefield to combat our pressure. Not gonna really work to their favor, honestly. It's just not. This guy can't even block, so, like, this is a terrible card for the matchup. Faithless looting. Let's take a look here. Can be blocked by power two or less. Well, that's not gonna be a problem for us. We can get pretty big pretty fast. Ooh, they got their dragon breaths. That's not good. They're pretty close to comboing. Once again, though, we got that journey. We all right. I'm not scared, but they are setting up for a decent combo here. No removal. I think these decks usually play with Edicts. Chainer's Edict. At least I run it in mine, and I've seen it in a lot of deck lists. But, uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing so far that we've seen. A lot of stinkweed nips. A lot of stinkweeds. So I think I did a misplay last turn. I think the best play would have been to play this muscle sliver. Play the muscle sliver. That way on this turn, we can put this planes down, play our sinew, hold up protection with vines. I'm not super worried about it, but like... Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. So they went Gurmog. Looks like it's going to get some haste. See if they want to attack in. They may not. They may be getting scared. Turning down my music a little bit. It's so loud. Do it. Attack in, please. Yes. Okay. Cool. I will take five all day. I'm swinging back for more. Okay, we got a plated, so that's not bad. I'm not going to deal with this guy yet. If we need to next turn, we will. But there's no point right now. Swing for six. We're, b we're winning the race, so it's not a big deal. Have them at 12. We have a winding way. We got a vines. We got a journey. We're set up pretty nicely here to win. Let's see if they're going to combo off again. It's possible. It's possible. They set up with the Gurmog and then they swing in for the Umog. They're going for something. Yep, here we go. All right. So they'll get the Umox Crusher. They will get Dragon's Breath. Um, so looks like we uh, will have to annihilate two things. 
we will we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. They're attacking in for ten. Annihilator two. We're gonna journey the Gurmog. Where are we? Ah, uh, what to get rid of? All right, we'll definitely get rid of a planes and a plated. I guess that's our best bet. Ah, uh, if we had one more thing out, I just I want. We needed those creatures. To stay out. We kept this Gurmog back. So we can't really get past him. I guess we get rid of a plated. It's probably our best way. Uh, and we'll take 10. I'm not going to block here. Go to five. Another journey, huh? I think we have to journey the Ulmox Crusher. Uh, we don't have lethal anymore. Uh, so we have to look out for our future turns, and we can at least chump block the Gurmog Angler, and then journey him if we need to. <sighs> okay, so. Let's go ahead and just pass. We are on a clock, though, because they have the Putrid Imp that they can give flying to if they discard a card. So they may do that just to get in for two damage. Two cards left, though. Let's see what they want to do. May even just double block the Gurmog. Okay, so they're just doing the Putrid Imp. They're gonna give it flying. We'll get it for two. I would love to get a Relic. Make sure they can't get any more craziness. Alright, we get an extra turn kind of here. It's nice. And we can set up for Vine's Kicker next turn as well. So let's clear out the Gurmog. And we'll swing in for nine. Hmm, let's think. Can they do anything else that'll, like, kill us? There's potential. Maybe I want to just hold back something, swing in for six. I think I'm going to do that just in case they've got one other thing that might be able to come out with haste. Because all I need is another exhume. They can pop something out with a dragon's breath, and then we're just dead. So I'm going to play it safe and keep up one blocker, and we've got the vines back up for next turn now. We'll be able to swing around, hopefully swing around two creatures and just get in there for the final six damage. Tormenting voice, okay. Well, uh, but if they don't have an answer here either, then you know, it is what it is. Yep, okay. They didn't have an answer, so 
Cool, we won. Ske I was sketchy there for a second. Sketchy there for a second, but we uh, we managed. I think we did that pretty good. We had another forest, so we could winding way and vines, but it didn't matter. Um, cool, good matchup. It's a fun one. It's always fun to go against this deck. You don't see it too often anymore. It's not crazy popular, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more slivers. We got gruels coming up on Friday and another one of the green-white slivers on Wednesday. And we will see you guys in the next one.